Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I'd love it if you could subscribe. And if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming my update for the Palette Roulette project. So I did introduce this last update on my channel because I am trying to work through my eyeshadow palettes and my face palettes. I don't bring in eyeshadow palettes and face palettes into projects as much as I should so I really wanted to dedicate a project to eyeshadow palettes and face palettes. So before we start this video I do want to say I have already made a few changes to this project. So I did say I was going to use the eyeshadow palettes and I think the face palettes 20 times. But when I actually sat and thought about the reason I was doing this project, it was to rotate through my collection. So 20 uses for each of them was going to take me a while to get that and then bring in some new palettes. So I decided I'm going to be using the eyeshadow palettes three times and the face palette five times going forward. I think that's going to be the best way because the palettes I have used this update, I've managed to make a decision on what I'm going to be doing with them by using them three times and the first palette five times. Hopefully that makes sense. So pretty much I'm going to be using my eyeshadow palettes three times going forward and my face palettes five times going forward. So what I've done is I've brought in four eyeshadow palettes and one face palette and hopefully that means I can rotate through them each update I can bring new ones in as well. Um, so let's just jump straight into it because I can roll all of them out this update so that means I can roll in new ones at the end. So the first one I was working on was the Ofra Signature Palette Symphony and this is what it looked like. This shade here in the middle is absolutely beautiful and um, that is my favourite shade in this whole palette. Um, but I do really like this palette. I think it's a, it's one of those palettes that I'd mostly take traveling with me. Like I know it might look a bit boring to some people, but um, these are like the type of shades I would go for on a like daily basis. And um, this is gonna be staying in my collection just for this shade alone. But the other shades I did use in this were also really nice as well. I'd not tried an Ofra palette before I'd brought it into this project. I actually got this recently in a mystery box. So that one will be staying in my collection. The next one I rolled was the Illamasqua Expressionist palette. I am trying to cover my face when showing these palettes because it's trying to focus on my face. <laughs> um, I am filming with my new camera. So this is what it looks like and I've actually decided I'm going to be getting rid of this one because when I was using it it wasn't inspiring me and I wasn't the biggest fan of the mattes in this. I found they were difficult to blend. The shimmers were nice but I do have these shimmers over and over in palettes so um, yeah not the biggest fan of this palette so I am going to be decluttering this one. One thing I will say is if I have been given palettes as gifts I most probably will not be decluttering them. Ones that I've purchased or ones I've got in boxes I think I'm going to find it a lot easier to get rid of those. Any that I've been given as gifts I most probably won't be getting rid of. I just wanted to say that now. <laughs> so the next one I have is the Makeup Revolution Maxi Reloaded Ultimate Nudes Palette. And I actually got this one as a gift a few Christmases ago from my best friend. And this has all the neutral shades in here that you will ever need. I do sometimes get a bit overwhelmed with big palettes like this because I'm like I'm not sure which one to use. Um, but I did enjoy this palette. I thought the eyeshadows were nice quality. And like I mentioned, I have all of the neutral shades I will ever need. So this one will be staying in my collection. This is one I find I can use by itself or with other palettes. And then the last eyeshadow palette I've been working on was the ABH Nuvu palette. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. This is what it looks like. It is so pretty. I really enjoyed this palette. I did also do a few green looks with this as well. Um, I did use Peacock 
which was this one here. I wasn't the biggest fan of that one. I did think that was a little bit patchy, but the rest of them that I did use, I really, really enjoyed. So this will be staying in my collection. Um, Wings, which is this one here absolutely beautiful um and also lily as well which is that one so 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 pretty this one is going nowhere <laughs> and then for the first palette that was randomly rolled for me i don't think i mentioned but i don't pick these eyeshadow palettes i do like a random number generator and then i just let the random number generator choose my eyeshadows for me and my face palette but the one that was rolled for me was the Tarte Precious Gems Amazonian Clay Face Palette. I got this as a gift from my sister and her boyfriend a few Christmases ago now. So this is what it looks like. Sorry, it's a little bit reflective. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this palette. I did have it recently in my Throwback 30 as well. And I did use the bronzer and the blushes in my five uses and yeah really really do enjoy the Tarte blush formula and the bronzer as well before I'd had this I think I only had the Tarte Park Have Princess face palette and I didn't really use it a huge amount so um yeah I was really really excited when I got this at Christmas and this is going nowhere now we're at the point where I can roll in some new palettes I have recently and I say recently like in the last few months, <laughs> done my makeup inventory. So I do have 82 palettes. Now I haven't removed the Illamask one yet. I will do that later on. But I do currently have 82 eyeshadow palettes or individual eyeshadows. I'm kind of, I just combine them all in one. So let's do between one and 82. And I'm going to choose four. So the first one, is number three ooh then we have number 61 number 59 and number 48 then let's do the face palette so i do have 40 face palettes so let's that is number 21 so what i'm going to go and do is i'm going to go and get those palettes and i'll be right back to show you what i'm going to be working on over the next update so i'm back and I'm really happy with the palettes I'm going to be working on for the next update. So the first one I got was number three. And that was my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. I absolutely love Too Faced Formula. I haven't been wowed by any of the like recent collections that have come out so I haven't actually bought any. But um, I remember I fell in love with this one. I know I do like this palette, so I'm looking forward to using it. Again, um, this is one of the older ones in my collection. But it, at least it's been used before, because I think the other ones that are rolled in haven't. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know I like the Too Faced formula. It's, let's just see whether this is something that is still performing well. The next one I rolled was number 61, and that was another Too Faced palette. This is the Too Faced Too Femme Oh god, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, I got this in a next box, I think. Really, really pretty. And this is what it looks like inside. I haven't used this one, I don't think. Yeah, I haven't used this one. This one does have quite a perfumey smell though. What I will say about Too Faced is their like palettes are fragranced so if you don't like that I wouldn't recommend buying a Too Faced palette but this one does smell quite fragranced um like perfumey um but yeah I think there's some really pretty colors in here so looking forward to using that the next number I had was number 59 and that was the BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Mimosa palette this is what this one looks like I'm so excited to use this one. This is definitely a Sonia palette with the pinks um, and neutrals. So I don't think I'm going to have a problem use, getting my three uses on this one. Um, again, another one I haven't used in my collection yet. And then last but no means least, I got number 48. And 
again, <laughs> another palette I've not used. It is the Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette. So I actually got this as a gift from my parents for my birthday. Oh, maybe last year or the year before. And this is what it looks like. I absolutely love, love, love the design on this. And this is what it looks like. I did ask my parent to buy this for me because it was the cyber palette <laughs> but yeah i haven't used this one yet i do love urban decay's formula i think this is the only naked palette i have left in my collection because i do have another two on display you can't see but it's up here because they were getting a bit older in my collection and they were both gifts so i wanted to display them in my beauty room so i'm looking forward to seeing what i think to this one and then for my face palette i was number 21 and that was the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I have tried this one before and I remember absolutely loving this one. So I'm very, very, very excited to pull it out again and use it a little bit more. Um, this was a gift from my partner a few Christmases ago. So that is my update. I'm so pleased with the palettes that have been randomly selected for me. I cannot wait to start using them. I do also have some other palettes in my Fifty Shades of Brown, which I am trying to use as well. Um, so potentially I may not have all of my uses on these ones by next update, but we will just see. Um, one thing I will say as well, which kind of isn't relating to this project, but I did introduce it last update as well my lip service i am actually going to be doing that every other month so when i am going to be filming my updates for the lip service this will go up more in the middle of the month when i'm not filming my lip service this update will be going up at the end of the month hopefully all of that makes sense <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoyed this if you did please do give it a thumbs up and it mean the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already and until my next video thank you for coming by See you later.